from the day he was born, I just, he just came into this world and I knew it was for a reason. When he was diagnosed, he was, he was, he just turned five. So, you know, we were robbed of a lot of things. You never think it's gonna be you or your child. Um, it was, I actually replay that day a lot. Like, you know, even now it feels like just yesterday, the emotions of them telling us um, that they found a mass in his chest, it was devastating and it shook our world. But again, he just went through it so gracefully. I don't know how to, to describe it. He's just, he's just a special kid, you know? I had to do shots and ports and that scared me a lot. When I was four years old, I stepped crying and crying, but now I got used to it. He was doing normal chemo, and then after that, he made it to trials. Like his case, his particular um, cancer um, mutation was able to get him a lot of clinical studies, and it, it just allowed him to try new drugs that they didn't have years ago. That's why they removed his port, because he didn't need um, anything um, through that. He was just taking pills. After they took out my port, I could finally be free again. When we got the call from the hospital that he was eligible for Make-A-Wish, um, we were excited and we kind of talked to him about what he wanted. I was for going to Hawaii and because I just want my family to have a good life too. It was just eye-opening and overwhelming um, to see the team of the learning experience and to see the team of Make-A-Wish. You guys are like angels on earth, I always say. Like, you can choose to do anything you want in your life and that's what you decide to do. For several years now, Richard Weissman, who was the founder of the learning experience, has been working very closely with Make-A-Wish. And he recognized that there was something bigger that we could be doing with the learning experience in terms of connecting with Make-A-Wish and helping the children understand what it was like to give back. And so foundationally, we're starting children at a very young age that understand what it is to just be a really good person. Part of our curriculum is philanthropy. So every month the children are learning about different ways to be kind and give back. So we've always you know, had a small part in helping out. We are a, actually a WISH family. Um, my son Bryce was granted his WISH in 2019. We went to, um, down to Port St. Lucie for the Mets. He's an avid baseball and Mets fan. Um, and that was his wish, and they t the whole family got to go. It was really a family experience. Make-A-Wish and the Learning Experience are an incredible fit. We're all about the children. Happy Wish Day, Liam. You're going to Hawaii. Yeah. You are going to get to go on a submarine ride. And most importantly, you're going to get to go on a turtle tour. We're going to drive around the whole island, and you're going to get to see the Dole Plantation, and you're gonna get to see lots and lots of beaches, and most importantly, you're gonna get to swim with some turtles! Woo! We'd be remiss if we didn't take a moment and, and just thank everybody from the learning experience for partnering with Make-A-Wish for all these years. Do you know how much they've raised for us over all these years to help make wishes like yours come true? Almost four million dollars. I could not have planned for Liam's reaction any better. For him, it was a dream come true, and for us, it was also as well. In the moment that I see Liam's face, in the moment that we raised $1.5 million for Make-A-Wish last year, in the moment that we will raise $3 million, I recognize that this is the reason why I'm here. This is the reason why the Weissmans are here. This is the reason why Make-A-Wish is here. I just want to say thank you from my entire family, um, from the bottom of our hearts. There aren't any words to express how we feel or, or how much we appreciate the support. People who don't even know us have such kindness in their hearts to um, you know, make us feel so loved. <laughs>
I saw like big turtles, like three turtles. One, I never saw it move, but I saw it sleeping, and then it moved, and then after that, it opened his eyes. And that was really fun. And my most favorite part too, the food. The spam, I don't like spam, but somehow I, I like spam now. And scrambled eggs, rice, and seaweed. It's really good. It wasn't just like a simple, you know, let's just get away for like work and school for a while. It really was celebrating his life. Um, and I think that's what made it so much more epic. The culture of Hawaii was incredible. You feel the, they call it mana, like that energy. You do feel it, it's, it's not in your head, it's really all around you. Um, and I feel like it's a good place to heal, whether it is a child with critical illness, whether it's depression, whether it's anything. I feel as though Hawaii's culture and just the nature around was just, it's therapeutic and it's good, good medicine. I'll say thank you. Thank you so much about everything, help, help my family and everything. Thank you for making my wish come true.